Hey guys, it's Eri22 here, and today I'm going to be testing out new drugstore makeup. So, um, let's get started. Let me just zoom guys in. So, we are first going to be starting with a primer from this Walmart favorite kit, which was $9.88, and it comes with two primers, I think, but I already have the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, so I think I'm going to try the Maybelline Base Studio Master Prime Mini, so I think I'll start that, so I'll just like open this up, and just take out the Maybelline Master Prime, and I've never used this before, but I'm really excited to. Um, so I'm just gonna squirt some out onto my finger, and I'm just going to try this primer. So it smells nice. Um, it says on the bottle. It's a hydrate and smooth primer, so it feels really nice from what I've felt so far, so I'm just going to rub that in, and if you see me looking down, it's probably at my mirror, and this feels really nice. And, um, it's kind of tacky, which I like, and I feel like it's filling in my pores. Um, let me just grab my mirror. Yeah, so that helped fill in my pores, and I really liked that primer. It was really soft, and it feels really light on the skin and really nice. So the next thing I'm going to try out is the new formula of the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation and I'm testing the shade Snow and this says that it's an oil-free satin finish and I have the old formula um, right here um, but it's in the shade Natural. I'm not sure if they still do that shade anymore, but um, the new one looks slightly um, lighter. This one's the new one. And also, the um, new one has what it actually is on the bottom. If you can see, like, on the bottom it says Flawless Finish Foundation, but it does it on this side if you can see. Um, so that's the packaging difference. But now, I'm just going to apply this. And once again, this is in the shade Snow. And I guess I'll just put it on the back of my hand. And this has pink undertones, which is for my skin. So I'll just grab my foundation brush and I'll just apply this to my face. It doesn't smell um, much different than it used to. Hopefully this is the right shade. Um, there was a lighter one but I wasn't sure if that was going to be my shade either, so I just got this one. So, and when I tested it on my hand at the store, it looked like a pretty nice um, match. So now I'm just going in with this um, Ulta Beauty sponge, and I'm just going to blend out this foundation. And this foundation says that it's buildable. And on the bottle, let's see 
what it claims for coverage. I don't see claims. It says layer as needed for more coverage. So it's supposed to be buildable. And as I'm like dotting it over and over on my face, um, it appears to be buildable like it claims. And it feels really nice. I remember it used to feel heavier. And it used to be matter, I feel like. Um, but now it's like satin, which it says. And it's a really nice formula. I have combination skin, which is oily and dry. And it works pretty nice on my face, even on my T-zone, which is the oily part of my face. And it's also working really well on my dry patches um, around my nose. And um, so looking at it close up, it does look really nice. So that was a really nice foundation. Um, we'll see how it wears throughout this video. So now, I'm going to put my favorite concealer over top of it, which is fairly new to me. It's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C2. And I love this concealer a lot. So I'm just going to take this and apply it under my eyes. And on my chin. And on my, um, around my nose, on my dry patches, and just also on my blemishes that the foundation didn't completely cover. So now I'm just going back into the same sponge, and I'm just blending this out. So, um, this is a really nice concealer. It's $7, and it works really nice. Um... Some people say that it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I've never tried that, so I don't know. But I do really love this concealer. I like the big doe foot applicator. I heard that there is a new e.l.f. concealer out, which is the 16 hour camo concealer. And, um, I'm thinking about trying that out. If you would like me to, then leave a comment down below and like this video. And I will try it out. It's $5. And some people say that that's also a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So, I don't know. Um, so... Those are my under eyes blended out and then my concealer blended out. So now I'm just going to take my e.l.f. Prime Stay Finishing Powder in the shade Translucent Bare Light and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes using the Sonia, if I can find it. Using the Sona Kashuk um, Small Point Blush Brush. And this is also fairly new to me. I recently got it and I really love it. It's really soft. It was sort of expensive for a brush, but um, it is really soft and it disperses the product really nicely. So I'm just um, putting this powder under my eyes. And on my chin, and I can't really tell if the foundation is oxidizing or not. Um, on camera, it looks paler than in life, in real life, um, but it does look really nice and it seems to smooth out my skin, which is really nice. Um, some foundations just fill in my pores and then make them bumpy so that's not happening with this foundation 
So now, I'm just going to contour slash bronze with my Ellen Tracy Duo Highlight Brush and the e.l.f. Um, I think this is the Bronzing and Blush Duo and this is in the shade St. Lucia and this is what it looks like. So I just go in with the uh, contour shade. I just grab that on my brush. And it is a little shimmery in the pan, but it doesn't show up shimmery, so I think it's a really good contour shade. And I just run this um, right under my cheekbones, right there. And that's what it looks like before I blend it out. And then I'm just doing it to the other cheek. And now I'm just going to blend it out using the other side. So that just bronzes my skin up a little bit. Then I just go a little bit on the forehead. And then I'm done bronzing. So let me just stick the brush back in here. And now it's time for blush. And we actually have something new for the blush, which is from the um, kit that we're testing out. And this is the Milani Rose Powder Blush. And this is a mini. And I've really been wanting to test this out, like, really bad. This is what it looks like. Um, it's in the shade Romantic Rose, which is 901. And it's so pretty. Like, that rose is so pretty. So, I'm just going to take my Glam. If I, oh, my Glam and Beauty brush, which is from Walmart. Um, and I'm just going to dip into this blush, and we'll see how it um, looks. I'm not sure how much this blush is in full size, um, but I have almost bought it a couple of times. I just haven't yet, so now I finally got it, and I really like it. That looks really nice. I like um, kind of a natural but still pink blush. And that works really nice. I really love this blush. I might have put too much on, but that's okay. Um, it's really nice. I really recommend this blush. So the next step is highlighter. And I'm also using 